learning objectives. After studying this module, students will be able to understand the nature and significance of the financial analysis, identify the objectives of financial analysis, know the various tools of financial statement analysis, understand the limitations of the financial analysis. Meaning of Financial Statement Analysis When we do a critical evaluation of the financial statements to understand and make decisions for operations of the organization is called as Financial Statement Analysis. It is a study of the relationship of various financial facts and figures given in a set of financial statements and interpretation to know the profitability and operational efficiency of the business. The term financial analysis includes analysis and interpretation. Analysis means simplifying financial data by methodical classification that is given in the financial statement. Interpretation means telling the meaning and significance of data. An analysis is useless without interpretation and interpretation is impossible without analysis. Significance of Analysis of Financial Statement The purpose of the financial statement is to identify the strengths and weakness of an organization analysis of balance sheet and profit and loss account statements. This analysis can be done by the company itself or by the outside parties like owners, investors, lenders, traders, etc. The financial analysis is useful for many users. Let us discuss that briefly. Meaning of Financial Statement Analysis Finance Manager Financial analysis tells us about the facts and relationships related to managerial performance, strengths of the company financially and creditworthiness of the company. These analysis tools help a finance manager to make decisions and testing the efficiency of the operations. Top Management with the help of financial analysis, the top management came to know the resources of the firm and whether those resources are fully utilized or not. It helps in measuring the success of the operations, sound financial position of a firm and evaluating the internal system control. Trade Payables With the help of analysis, the trade payables know the ability of the company to pay its obligation and came to know the profitability of the company. Trade payables are interested in the company's ability to pay their dues. Lenders Suppliers who give long-term debts to the company are interested in their long-term solvency. They analyze the profitability of the company with these statements. The firm's ability to generate cash, to pay long-term debts, profitability, etc. Investors The investors who have invested money in firm's shares are interested in knowing the earnings of the firm. They also evaluate the efficiency of the management. Their decision to buy more shares, sell shares depends upon the analysis. Labor Unions Labor unions need the analysis of financial statements to find out whether the company can presently afford a wage increase and whether it can absorb a wage increase through increased productivity or by raising the prices. Others The economists, researchers, etc. analyze the financial statements to study business and economic conditions. The government agencies need it for price regulations, taxation and other similar purposes. Objectives of Analysis of Financial Statement The analysis of financial statements 
tells the important information related to managerial performance and the efficiency of the firm. In other words, the objectives of the analysis are to use the information contained in financial statements to know the weakness and strengths of the firm and to predict about the future prospects of the firm so that decisions regarding the operation of and further investment in the firm can be taken. Basically, it serves the following purposes. Helps to assess the profitability of the business and operational efficiency of the business. To find out the importance of different components on the financial position of the business. To find out the reasons for change in the financial position of the business. To judge the ability of the firm to repay its debts. Tools for analysis of the financial statements. Comparative statement. These statements show the profitability and financial position of the business for different periods to make a comparative analysis. It is usually done on profit and loss account and balance sheet. Comparative analysis indicates the trend and direction of financial position and operating results. This analysis is also known as horizontal analysis. Common size statements. These statements express the relationships of different items of a financial statement with a common item expressing each item as a percentage of that common item. These statements allow an analyst to compare the operating and financial characteristics of two companies of different sizes of the same industry. Common size statements are useful both in intra-firm comparisons over different years and for making inter-firm comparisons for the same year or for several years. This analysis is also known as vertical analysis. Tools for analysis of the financial statements Trend analysis it is a technique of studying operational results and financial position over a series of years on the basis of previous year's data of a business enterprise. The trend analysis can be done to observe the percentage changes over the time in the selected data. It is important because by looking at the trends over a period, one may find whether the trend is rising, falling or stable. Ratio analysis. It explains the relationship that exists between various items of a balance sheet and a statement of profit and loss of a firm. Accounting ratios measure the comparative significance of the individual items of the income and position statements. Cash flow statement. It tells about the movement of cash in and out of the business. When cash comes in the business, that is called as cash inflow. Whereas, when cash goes out of business, that is called as cash outflow. The difference between the both is net cash flow. Cash flow statement projects the way in which the cash has been received and has been utilized during an accounting year, as it shows the sources of cash receipts and also the purposes for which payments are made. Comparative Statement These statements include the statement of profit and loss and the balance sheet for both the current year as well as for the previous year and for the changes during the year both in absolute and relative terms. So, it is possible to find out not only the balances of accounts as on different dates, but also the extent of their increase or decrease between these dates. The comparative statements can be used for finding the direction of changes and trends of performance of an organization as well. Steps to prepare comparative statement Step 1. List out absolute figures in rupees 
relating to two points of time. Step 2. Find out the change in absolute figures by subtracting the first year, column 2, from the second year, column 3, and indicate the changes as increase, plus, or decrease, minus, and put it in column 4. Step 3. Preferably, also calculate the percentage change as follows and put it in column 5. Common size statement. Common size statement, which is also known as component percentage statement, is a tool for studying the changes and trends in the financial position and operational result of a company. In this statement, each item is stated as a percentage of the total, of which that item is a part. Common size analysis is mainly used for comparing enterprises which differ in size as it provides an insight into the structure of financial statement. Limitations of financial statements Steps to prepare common size statement Step 1. List out absolute figures in rupees at two points of time, say year 1 and year 2. Step 2. Choose a common base as 100. For example, revenue from operations may be taken as a base 100 in case of statement of profit and loss and total assets or total liabilities 100 in case of balance sheet. Step 3. For all items of column 2 and 3, work out the percentage of that total, column 4 and 5. Limitations of financial statements Though the financial statement is helpful in depicting the financial position of a business and tells the financial strengths and weakness of the organization, the financial analysis also has various limitations of financial statements. Hence, the analyst must be careful of the impact of price level changes, window dressing of financial statements, changes in accounting policies of a firm, accounting concepts and conventions, personal judgment, etc. Financial analysis does not take care of price level changes. Financial analysis may mislead if the accounting procedure of the company is not clear. Financial analysis is just a study of the reports of the company. It only considers monetary information alone while non-monetary aspects are ignored. The financial statements are prepared on the basis of accounting concept. As such, it does not reflect the current position. Summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Financial analysis includes analysis and interpretation. Analysis means simplifying financial data by methodical classification that is given in the financial statement. Interpretation means telling the meaning and significance of data. The purpose of the financial statement is to identify the strengths and weakness of an organizational analysis of balance sheet and profit and loss account statements. Financial analysis tells us about the facts and relationships related to the managerial performance, strengths of the company financially and creditworthiness of the company. With the help of financial analysis, the top management came to know the resources of the firms and whether those resources are fully utilized or not. The analysis of financial statements tell the important information related to managerial performance and the efficiency of the firm. Financial analysis helps to assess the profitability of the business and operational efficiency of the business. There are